How cute, right? But SpongeBob's here on a time crunch while he's eating and enjoying a smatty patty hattie, right? But we are going to self love ourselves today here with Tell My Matt host, Self Dreamer. So just copy what I do if you want, or take this and inspire yourself to go and do your own inspirational exercise. Could be at the gym, your backyard in your house like this, um, in your lunch break, um, at the store while you're waiting. I might, I don't, I don't know, maybe you're getting a haircut. Instead of sitting there, go do something. Do something while you're in there. Walk and look at all the products. While you're looking at all the products, stand in one spot and start bouncing up and down. They're gonna ask you what you're doing. Who cares? You wanna know what I'm doing? I hope I inspired you today to go do it yourself. So let's go do it. So here we're going to go ahead and do a little stretch. Put your arms up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Put your arms to the side. Touch the ground. And what you're going to feel is really, really, really great, wonderful stretch. Now what we're going to grab is, I have, it's really for the pool, but you can implement yourself your own weights, right? I have to do light exercise because I have a medical issue, but I'm still here living life and creating inspiration. Raise it up. You're going to bring it back. And it's yoga. Yoga can be many forms. And different positioning of your body. This is a freestyle. My yoga ball popped, and that's probably why I haven't been showing it anymore. Um, it popped when I had it hiding in my closet for my kids and my nephew who were playing hide and seek. And somehow, when they were playing at some point, that shit popped. So, I gotta get a new one. But I'm not gonna get it until I can fully do my full exercises more than what I can now. Because there's no point. So what you can do is, let's say this is five pounds. You can take your five pounds, you're gonna hold it, you're gonna raise one, and two, and three. And make sure you get Herbalife. I know that hamburger looks amazing, Patrick, but you really need to get some Herbalife in your life, bro. Stop just watching, go do something about it, you know? I'm doing something about it because I want my belly to be the way it was before I had kids. I don't want any excuses to say like, 
Oh no, blah, 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 no. No, even with exercising or what, I'm gonna get my body the way I want because I'm gonna find ways to balance it into my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna starve myself like I used to because I grew up and I learned how to eat and now I get to share how to eat to other people. And one seeker is the herbal life, no joke. That's my favorite thing. Uh, one, two, three, four. You have to balance your meals correctly. You have to know what kind of meals are what. I don't look at food like food all the time. When I see a cake, I see candy. When I see chicken, I see protein. When I see protein, I see a muscle. When I see cake, I see fat. I see a roll. I see how do I want my stomach to look. I see food as it's meant is how it is produced in your body. What it creates to become what you become. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to eat unhealthy unless you want to look unhealthy. And sometimes, you know, medication creates you to gain weight, uh, which is why I'm very careful. Doctors like to just prescribe. You tell them something and they're really just thinking about the money that they're about to make. They're not really listening to your problems. And if you do find one that does listen to your problem, we should really like start um, an award ceremony to those doctors out there who actually care about the